Hello everybody, welcome to the Blitz Pit number five preview. I think it's Blitz Pit number five. Um, thank you to all my Patreons who are up here. Check out my Patreon if you haven't. Uh, there's coaching and stuff and uh, art and all things related to the Patreon. So there you go. Right, <laughs> this is uh, this is Blitz Pit. G'day Nick runs it. Um, there's a bunch of uh, sponsors, so there's always prize money. Um, there's minute long turns and there's always funky rules for creating the team. Um, there's a boatload board, of information and stuff about it. I can put all the links in the description of the YouTube video. Um, normally I'm invited. I asked to not be invited to this one. I don't know if I, there's a qualifying process as well. So I, I don't know if I didn't qualify or not, but I asked to not be in any way. Um, because what happens is I think it's a brilliant idea. Um, and I think it's well run and everything, but I just wasn't enjoying the actual act of playing Blood Bowl for a long time. And especially with these, the, the minute turns are great for watching and they're great for playing, like, you know, the style of play and stuff, but it, it, great for commentary, but it's a bit difficult to stream the games and, you know, and play and stuff. And it's just generally been, just been tough. It's been tough streaming them, and and I felt bad because I feel I felt like the Blitz Pit deserved better than the games that I was giving it. So this time I'm just doing commentary, uh, like uh, like one of the many casters who uh, who do the co loads of people do do the commentary on on it. You know, like uh, Bezel and stuff. Bezel. Loads of people do uh, loads of people do commentary. Uh, Rick Reckless and, and who, who have you, so loads of, loads of people do commentary. I'll be doing commentary as well, and uh, me and Rick should be doing the final together, I think. So yeah, Gadenik invites, invites people who are good at Blood Bowl, so you should know these names from uh, Fumble and or CCL Playoffs, and they're all somewhat good at Blood Bowl. Right, um, so... <laughs> These made the draw already, so this is the draw here on the screen. The way it works is it's a double elimination event. So um, whoever loses out of the first round, first game there, Colian versus Paul Ropposit, will then go to a different bracket there you can see and stuff like that. So until eventually the guy who's won all of his games plays a guy in the final who has nearly won all of his games. <laughs> so the first one is Corleans Lizardmen versus Paul Opposite Skavens. So let's have a look at the teams. This is... So the 1370 TV and the team itself, ooh, there's a lot of skills here, isn't there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 skills, that's 26. Uh, is there a double there? No. So 26, 260, so 1, 1, 10? I don't know, that seems wrong, doesn't it? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, but so there are about 110 TV for the teams. <laughs> the skink has a double. He's got a Hail Mary pass. I didn't. All oh, right, the skink has a double. For some reason, he gave Hail Mary pass to the skink. Okay, so that's it. So it is 110 for the t 1,100 for the uh, for the teams, and then X amount of skills for the different races. So I mean, this is quite a lot of skills. I don't really like giving a skink Hail Mary pass when he could have had sure hands or block. That seems very weird. Um, or you could have put a block crocs ago. Um, stack, uh, presumably you can only stack normals here. The rack, the wrestle, break, tackle. I'm not, not a fan of that. Tackle, break, tackle. I, I think the wrestle's enough really for that. I don't know, T only two guard, a mighty bow. I'm not really a fan of this team, to be honest. I do like the apple and fan factor rather than an extra skink. But um, I'm not a fan of this build. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of that build. Right. Um, Paul opposite has got Skaven. Skaven get an extra skill compared to Lizard Men, which is, you know, oh wow, they can stack three. They can stack three skills. And he's got Claw Pom. Oh my god. Claw Pom, Tackle Pom. And you could even stack with a double as well. Blodge, three blodges and a rackle horns. I think maybe he could have just had another rodge gutter. Would have maybe been better. Um, lead a thrower for a third reroll. I like that. 14 men plus an apple. I think this is pretty nice. I think this is a pretty nice team, to be honest, especially with Clawpum, obviously. I think 
Skaven seem a better choice than uh, than Lizards with it being it'll stack three. So yeah, fouls, yeah, 14 players. Very nice, loads of fouls. Um, we'll find potential. Maybe could have just done a sidestep cut runner for the one turn if you didn't want to go with a two wrestle. But it's interesting, and I'm also not I'm not that keen on the on the horns to be honest. Not that keen on the horns because uh, that could have just been dauntless, right? And then you could have had two claw bombers. But <laughs> it's generally good to have some tackle, isn't it, against the elves? So I, I fancy uh, I fancy Polar Opposite to win that one. Just I mean, obviously Lizardmen can still do well, but there's some there's some strange choices on the Lizardman team there. And obviously Corlean's no fool. Like everyone's good. There's there's not going to be much in the coaching really in these games. Um, right, Andre with Underworld versus Shawnee with Elves is the second game. So, Andre. Yeah, you can always get 2D hits, can't you? That's the problem. Right, so Andre has got a Claw Pom Blitzer, <laughs> a Claw Mighty Blow Tackle. Ah, interesting. A Block Claw Troll. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Uh, leader thrower. Only 11 goblins. Oh, he's got a star. Has he? He must have a star here. He's got Glart and Skitter. <laughs> wow, so he's got 13 men. Glart and Skitter. That seems really good then, doesn't it? Oh, because it, that's why his team value is so high, because he's 230 affecting the money. Okay, so... Oh, that seems really good then, doesn't it? So he's got four claws on his team. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. And Skitter's nice as well, isn't he? Skitter is nice getting a gutter runner on, uh, on this team. And this minimises how many goblins you've got to have. So, that's interesting, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. I quite like that team. Good for Andre. A bit out of left field, isn't it? Underworld. That could be, that could be pretty handy, actually. Shawnee. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Has gone for pro elves. I guess because they get more skills than wood elves. Um, Thirteen men as well. So that's, it's a thirty men plus an apple. So they've got they've got consistent there. The, yeah, all this four claws are somewhat wasted. Obviously, they still affect the armor rate guys. Uh, the thrower. So he's got three re rolls and apple on thirteen men. So yeah, he's getting some value out of going pro elves rather than wood elves. Um, he's built a better war dancer, hasn't he? With uh, well, except he hasn't got dodge, but rackle, a better sacking dancer with rackle and uh, leap, and then a blodger, some other blodgers, diving tackle, blodge step, guard blodge step, some wrestle. Like it's elves. It's what's gonna. I think the minute turns might be crucial if Shawnee, like. You know, if if Shawnee struggles with only having a minute to choose his route of attack, it, it, then I think uh, then I think it might favour Andre. But if Andre struggles with a minute to protect the ball, it it might struggle. So it's I think it's interesting. I'm not I'm not really a fan of the build. The build doesn't think say to me this is a good idea. <laughs> Um, but by the same token, he's up against Underworld, which aren't really good either. <laughs> so there you go. Um, there's a dwarf off between Crucifer and Purple Chest in the next game. That's going to be interesting, isn't it? That'll be a good a good one to go to sleep in if you if you if there's too much action for you, then you, you can you can tune into this and uh, go to sleep. The rules for making teams. It's it, I don't know. I don't know exactly to be honest, because again, I wasn't involved. I'm not involved in playing the games myself. But it's definitely one thousand one hundred to make the team, and some amount of skills. Um, so he's got a pom slayer, a pom longbeard, loads of guard, and a dodge runner. Twelve players, three rerolls apple, just a normal standard, boring dwarf team. Only one runner. That might be. Uh, that might be crucial. I'm sure Purple Chest will only have one runner as well. Uh, Purple Chest. I was wrong. He's got two. And he's got a blodgy man. And he's got more mighty blow rather than the Pommers. He's got three apple, three rows and apples. So actually, he's got four mighty blow. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guard. 
and Crucifer has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guards. So Crucifer has one more guard. He's got two Palm rather than two Mighty Blow. They've both got three rerolls and an Apple. There's not a lot in it, but um, I like I like that PC's runner has Blodge. I like that he's got the additional runner so that um, you know he can he can more reliably win two one. Um, if he forces an early score, he's got a bit more movement, and he can take a bit more risks with the ball carrier. Um, I don't like the mighty blow on the blitzer rather than on a long beard. I would rather have a mighty blow tackler there. And he's got four mighty blow, which is perfect for like hitting the LOS and stuff. And just in a in a protracted engagement between two dwarves, I think having more mighty blow is going to be probably more useful than having two palms. So I'm going to pick and you know. Uh, to, it's funny because this is one of the best on Fumble versus one of the best on, on um, PC. I would say Crucifer's got a lot of experience with Chorfs, but not as much experience with Dwarves as PC has. But I'd definitely pick PC for that one. I guess I'll have to pick Shawnee just because Elves are better than Underworld, even though I don't think it's a great Pro Elf team. And yeah, I already picked the Skaven for the first one. Right, Andy Davo, Necro versus Single or Chorfs. Right, well, single those chorfs are here. And uh, he's gone 12 men with an apple, three rerolls. Block sure hands, five guards, claw mighty. Block break tackle, block tackle. Uh, yeah, chorfs never really look too good for these formats, I think. They're always. People, people always tend to like categorise them as about on the same level as Skaven. And I think in this one they're actually worse. There, they've they've got less skills than Skaven. I think they're one less, they're twenty less TV than the Skaven, right? And yeah, they're on the same level as dwarves. I don't think they're on the same level as dwarves as tables for like you know naf style. Uh, they're on, they've got them in the same category as lizards, and I think that's just not good enough for chorfs, to be honest. Um, I think chorfs are not good enough. Necro are also on that level as well. What are elves on? Elves elves are thirty less. Goodies. Right, so they're the necro. Oh, oh dear, what a meme! Stay away from the sides. Um, so he's gone two block mighties, which is fair enough, isn't it? Claw mighties, three guarders, a tackler. Um, the tackler could be a bit excessive when you've already got two two poor man's tackles. Uh, and maybe he's just made that another guard and a flesh golem, to be honest. I think would be better, personally. I'd have gone four guards. Um, blood sure hands, very good. Only 11 men is very risky, isn't it? So while he's got a fully powered roster, only 11 men means that he could get bashed off the park. He's got 30k wasted. So, he, you know, he's... But again, what could he have done? Like, that's, I guess he could have had one, one wolf or dropped a reroll. Could have dropped a reroll and had two more zombies, but then you've only got two rerolls, which is a bit shit, isn't it? He does have regen, but he can still get KO'd and everything, and and you know, I don't know, like can't foul with eleven men, just cannot foul at all. So it, it's it's got more potential to be dice than if it had, you know, thirteen men, doesn't it? Obviously, um, but two block claw mighty frenzy is pretty good, and yeah, I do think four card would have been better. Uh, I don't think he has much to fear against uh, against that Ch Chorf team. I don't think Chorfs were a very good pick in this format at all. He's got some guard, he's got the Claw Knight, he's got the Bulls, but um, I think Devo will win that one. And the overtime as well, see 11 men with overtime um, could could be could be trouble for him. Um, but there you go. It's got the potential to be dicey that one with the any any eleven man roster has got more potential to be dicey, doesn't it? Of course. But then it has more it has more power on the field uh, in exchange for that loss of reliability. Right, random boy versus Olivier Dulac. Random boys vampires versus Olivier Dulac's wood elves. Right. Uh, random boy fourteen forty for vamps. And he's got a Dodge Sure Hands leader. I don't like the leader being unprotected. Uh, well, okay, he's got Dodge. 
no, not blodged, blodge sidestep, run no pro, blodge tackle, block tackle 90, three rerolls, 15 men, an apple, a guard, a dirty player. I think this looks shit. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> it's not that's not a mark on him, that's just vampires. Right? That's just vampires. I wouldn't I wouldn't choose vamps in this format. Olivier Dulac has glorious wood elves. Um a wrestler. A throw with leader. A stripper. A uh, frenzier for poor man's tackle. Good if people don't have dodge, isn't it? Uh, and a jump up, a jump up tree. They can't use inducements, no. The jump up tree is interesting. That I would really like a jump up tree on my teams. That's a that's that's a nice use of his double, I guess. Uh, otherwise, that's pretty much exactly what I would have made, I guess. In fact, that's what I would have made. I don't know if you could if you, if if they were allowed to uh, stack. I might have gone with a mighty blow tackle or a guard. Yeah, a guard, a guard, block guard catcher maybe. If you could, I don't know if the top teams could stack. Um, I mean, wood elves are good, but they're, again, they're fragile. Eleven men with an apple is is pretty. You know, it can be it can be dicey, can't it? So, and vampires are the diciest of teams. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the, the Wood Elf, like, obviously the Wood Elf team looks shit because it hasn't got many skills, but Wood Elves just by default are so good. Oh yeah, it was, wasn't it? Um, so, oh, it's too late now, eh, Dev? Too late now. There's a lot more skills, and he has got the Mighty Blow Tackler, so, you know, he could just roll dice, couldn't he, and wreck him. But, um, Woodies don't really need to cage, and the advantage of Vamps is cage breaking, so if you're cage breaking somebody who doesn't need to make a cage, it's not that good, is it? So, having said that, I would maybe back Random Boy there, I don't know, I think it'll be close, but I'm going to back Olivier Dulac there just because Wood Elves are, are better than vampires. <laughs> um, right, Cyber Knight with Underworld versus Elliot with Underworld. There's three Underworld teams here, that's interesting, isn't it? Right, let's have a look. Cyber Knight. Is here, so he's got probably a uh, Glart and somebody. Um, he's got a Claw Pom, uh, Tackle Mighty, Guard, Blocked Up Throwers, like that. Dirty Player Gobbo. I think maybe he's a block troll would have been better. He's only got twelve men and an apple, but I oh, know he's got more men, right? He's got more men, so he's gonna have Glart as well. Presumably, I don't know who he's got extra. Probably Glad. Um, so that's interesting. And he's up against Elliot, who also probably just has. That's <laughs> rubbish. Not knowing the teams even. <laughs> Cyber has a skitter and a saw, right? And a bribe. Okay, thank you, Wolfbag. What about what about Elliot? <laughs> oh wow, he's <laughs> Glart and Skitter. Okay. Also, neither get to use Skitter yet because they both got the same one. Yeah, so neither. So he's got, so he's got a saw and a bribe, and he's got Glart. Well, I I much prefer Elliot then. And he's got a block claw guard, troll, and a tackle pommer and a claw pommer. Oh, I like this team way more. He hasn't got an apple. And he's only got one reroll. What a mad ass. What a mad ass. But he's got the uh He's got a bludge, two heads. I like I like this team more, to be honest. Only got two rerolls and uh 12 men. But uh Cyber Knight has only got Oh no, Cyber Knight's got quite got 13, but one's a saw with a bribe. Um don't run out of time if you turn over. Yeah, that's true. I I, I prefer. I, I mean, like I don't think like Cyber Knight's a good player and everything. I don't like swords, but I mean they're dicey and obviously you can roll him and stuff. But I, I like Elliot's. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wolfbark. But I mean it's minute turn, so that kind of uh... Cyber Knight's also only got one reroll. Oh wow, wow. Right. Then we've got Dios Kemrys versus Velahopia's Chaos. 
Dior. There's Vela Hoppier's Chaos. Iced. He's diced without the D. Brilliant. Block Claw Mighty. Block Guard. Block Guard. I mean, this could have just been all four guard, couldn't it? I, I don't know if that would have been worth it. And then just got two Beastmen Killers. Pom Tackle. Claw Pom, but no block on them. Block Sure Hands. 12 men. Apple. Three rerolls. Um. Again, yeah, they're all dicey, aren't they, with Claw Pom? Right. What has Dior got? He's got Kems. He's got 14-10. He likes Harry Bo. He's got Guard Stand Firm, Guard Mighty, Guard Tackle Pom, Blodge, Sure Hands, Kickoff Return, 13 men, 3 rerolls. Yeah, okay, this is this is pretty sensible. Boring but sensible. Um he's got three stand firms to stop one turns, hasn't he, which is nice. And uh I mean obviously in most games Mighty Blow would be better than Stand Firm. But it's gonna be nice against the teams that try to one turn against him. Uh I'd have much rather seen four Mighty Blow in the palm. That would have been lovely, wouldn't it? That would have been a terrifying team. Uh yeah, I guess I guess gotta pick Dio to win that one. But you know, Vela Hobby again can easily roll some dice with Claw Mighties, can't he? Try with dwarves and pupok with orcs. So, try with dwarves. Three. This is the third dwarf team, isn't it? Uh, so two poms. This is nearly identical to uh, to Colian's team, isn't it? Not Colian, no. Andre, no, who was it? <laughs> Christopher. <laughs> Christopher. Nearly the same as Christopher's. Christopher's got two POM, an eight guard, and one runner. Um, and Try has gone two POMs, but both on Troll Slayers. Only one runner with block instead of dodge and eight guards. Um, it's good. I still prefer... I still prefer PC's team out of all the dwarves. Out of all the dwarves, I'd prefer this one the most, to be honest with you. For actually getting wins. Uh, maybe tries and Christopher's will be better with uh, overtime. Um, you know, for those poms to make big hits. And uh, not having to... Really, I think it's... I think it's... Uh, I think his, I favour his team because he's getting more Mighty Bow hits. Um... So I actually think PC, I fear the, they're not going to be piling on. So they've got two Mighty Blow and he's got four Mighty Blow. So he's essentially got two extra skills. That's my take on, on PC's build. I, I prefer it for the, for nearly all the games. So there you go. But they're not really going to be more hits. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. And Pupox Orcs are here. So these, these are very few skills. 330. 1330. I don't like that. Unless he's got, he hasn't got a star player. I think, I do not like this. Um, tackle Pom, Tackle Mighty, three guards, loads of blocks. He's got Dribble Snot, has he? Bummer Dribble Snot. No, alright, so he got a bit more. It's just that he hasn't got them. Oh, I guess the 60k is enough for Bummer Dribble Snot. Okay, so 12 men, but one's a secret weapon. I thought, I don't like this team at all. No offence, people. I don't like Orcs. Again, it's the race choice. Like the, the two teams that I called shit <laughs> were, um, were were kind of shit race choices rather than um, shit team building decisions. You know, it's, I wasn't really banging on Random Boy and Pupok for their team selection for their for their team builds more their race selections. I I just don't feel a good shouts. Um, I just wouldn't build Orcs. I wouldn't consider Orcs for this format. I like the dwarf teams. Um, that were made there, you know, they've got loads of guard and everything. Um, I like the Kemri, and I think the Underworld are more dark horses just because they, they, they're so much up for dicing people with a claw palm, aren't they? Um, he is, <laughs> yeah, he is good with them, I'm not saying he isn't, you know. Um, so if we look at the full, the full Blitz Pit table here, we've got, I, I think, Corlian. Uh, losing in the first round, so Paul opposite goes through, 
versus, let's say, Andri. And then Polar Opposite wins to get through to the semi ish. It's not even the semi. And then PC's Dwarves go through twice. <laughs> and then beat the Skaven, so PC through, through the top quarter. And that's PC being Purple Chest. And we've got... I don't know, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I am I'm think I'm going to flip-flop on that Wood Elf team. Because even though Wood Elves are nice, he's just got no skills on the team, has he? So let's go with Random Boy Vampires versus Eliod's under, Underworlds then Eliod winning. So Eliod's Underworld's going through there. Um, Dios, Kemri's versus Tri's Dwarves, and then Kemri beating them, and then Kemri beating the Underworld, then Kemri beating the Dwarves. So Kemri going through the top half of the draw, and then uh, because PC going through the top half of the draw, that means that it'll be Crucifer and Try would be my favourites to go through the bottom half of the draw. I would say Try goes through the bottom half of the draw. So, not that I'm copying off Wolfbark, but Dio versus Try in the final, with Dio winning yet again. <laughs> Blitz pit. So there you go. That's 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 my uh, that's my take on the old uh, Blitz pit. And yeah, I'll be doing I'll be doing commentary for the games uploading on YouTube and that and. Um, there you go. This is these are all the these are all the patrons. Thank you very much, everybody on Patreon. Thanks for the support and uh, there's coaching there as well if you want to check it out. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget Blitz Pit is on this weekend, which is the fourth and fifth of April. Thanks for watching. Stay fantastic.